have this chart. Uh, it's called uh, the ego evaluation chart. <laughs> and I would ask people personal questions and tell, tell them where they are in the chart from one to 10. And most people would supposedly, if they were healthy, be in the middle, five or six. And I found out from doing this chart that people were actually upset that, that they, when they didn't get a 10, which in fact was an, the ultimate biggest asshole. <laughs> <laughs> so I decided that what people really wanted was to compete to see who in fact was the biggest asshole. <laughs> and that's why we're here. <laughs> uh, we have three pre-selected contestants. And then we're going to have one of you volunteer. We'll have four people. We'll have a round of questions. We'll eliminate one person. Then we'll have another round of questions. Eliminate one other person. And then we'll have just two people battling it out. This is what they're going to be uh, competing for is uh, $50 in cash. Oh, wow. Yeah. I know. It's a <laughs> awesome. The truck <laughs> <laughs> so, I think the stakes are high, don't you? Yeah. Um, I'm going to call out our contestants that we have pre-selected, and then we're going to select one more. Okay, our first contestant is John F. O'Donnell. John, join us out here. Big asshole, and I agreed. <laughs> Our uh, next contestant is Eric Bergstrom. Oh. Our number two asshole. <laughs> And then our third selected, pre selected contestant, Lorelai Ramirez. Lorelai! She doesn't look like an asshole at all. But she d don't let it cool when you Oh, guys, who wants to compete? Is there anybody here that thinks that they would make a great asshole? define as an asshole that you admire, you know, like somebody that you'd like, yeah, I'd like to be Donald Trump, or I think he's cool, or, because assholes are people that don't have the same rules, and they always win. This is the whole thing. We kind of admire them a little bit. Yeah. So, John, you're first. Sure. Who's your guilty pleasure asshole? Thank you, John. My dad. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Eric? Um, no, Rip, rip Torn. Rip Torn. <laughs> I love Rip Torn. Okay, Rip Torn. He can drunk drive all he wants. Laura Lyon. I'm <laughs> I'm between uh, Satan or a uh, vampire. Oh, that's not a real person. Okay, but you're okay. <laughs> all right, good. That's okay. I think so. Let's see what you've got to show. Go on. Uh, there's no real big asshole big enough for me, so I'm going to go for Lord Voldemort. Oh, okay. Wow, well, really, well, we've got really into fantasy. John, is there something in your life where you've acted like an asshole where it still bugs you? Um, okay. Back in 2008, I was kind of having a manic episode and I thought I was like an amalgamation of all of the messiahs and whatnot, right? <laughs> True story, super awkward, right? And at the time, I wasn't paying rent or anything, so I'm trying to save the world. I don't have time to pay rent. Um, so my landlady, who was a very nice, maybe like late 40s, 50s Italian woman who was a widow because her husband died unexpectedly by falling down the stairs or whatever, right? Um, I changed the locks on the place and I wouldn't get out. I thought she was 
working for the Bush administration to help assassinate me, and I was really <laughs> mean and fucked up to her, and then I tried to give her a flower, and then she wasn't into it, and I got kicked out, and I still feel bad about treating her shit. Oh <laughs> wow. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. <laughs> Do you ever do that thing uh, where you get drunk and having sex with an 18 year old and then have to listen for the next two hours to the stories of all her cigarette burns? <laughs> <laughs> and then you don't know if you should help her or send her parents a thank you note? <laughs> okay. um, I used to, in high school, uh, take globs of paper and dip them in urine and throw them into people's stalls while they were peeing. <laughs> nice! That's really good! Cool. Oh. Um, I ran over a puppy when I was 15 years old. Oh, that's a good one. By accident? <laughs> yes. Yes, right? Oh. Okay, thank you, Lorelai. Thank you so much. ever pulled in a dating situation? Um, the worst I've ever done would be, oh, actually, I told a girl that she needed to pluck her eyebrows before she could go on a date with me because they were hideous and they were growish. That's pretty good. And now we find out Jess is a lesbian! <laughs> I have a tendency of sending dick pics as knock-knock jokes. <laughs> Where I just text, I text knock-knock, and if they respond with who's there, I just send a dick pic and go, dick pic! <laughs> That's great, and I don't know if I want to see your dick or not, but it's good to know that I could. <laughs> I like knowing that. And you uh, Jess, tell me something stupid that you did when you were drunk or on drugs. Um, the most asshole thing I could think of. I had a friend, we were on our way home from like ridiculous distance and we were both a little intoxicated. I was driving and she needed to pee and there's nowhere to pee so we stopped in a parking lot and I kind of forgot to get her back in the car before I kept going home. <laughs> awesome, that's cool. And you were driving. Yes. You were drunk? You, how much did you drank? You were drunk. Okay. <laughs> I, like, I like that. Uh, I had sex in my college roommate's bed with a married woman. That's pretty good. Were you drunk? Oh, God, yes. Just drunk? Okay. Heroically. Okay. That's good. I got high and thought that I hacked through the Chase.com website. <laughs> because I was mad at them for investing in mountaintop removal. But I don't know how to hack, so basically what I did, I was like, Chase.com, okay, click terms and conditions. Now I'm in the subhead. <laughs> <laughs> the kernels are <laughs> Chase.com, backslash, give me all your money. You know what I mean? But, uh, yeah. Uh. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, folks. I think that's okay. <laughs> That's an asshole move. Yeah. No way. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Jess. That's the final question. Would you guys be willing to pull your pants down and show your ass in order to win the 50 bucks in the trophy? No. <laughs> Eric? Why not? Girl, <laughs> 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 Make a quick speech and then we'll move. Yes. We are both great men. How do you feel about winning? Just tell us. I feel pretty. A... Thank you. You guys <laughs> deserve this more than someone. I like this. This is, uh, I don't care. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> anyway, thank you all so much for coming. Uh,